This is calculator question number 38. College Board gives us a very long description of Little's Law, Little's Law n equals RT, where R is the rate at which shoppers enter a store per minute and T is the average amount of time they spend in that store and N is the total number of shoppers in the store at any time. And we're told that the original store has 45 shoppers at any time on average. The owner own opens a new store and they estimate 90 shoppers per hour each staying for 12 minutes. Notice that hour is underlined which indicates we probably have to do something about that and we notice that R is shoppers per minute so I'll convert 90 shoppers per hour. If I multiply that by one hour equals 60 minutes so one hour or 60 minutes is one. I'm multiplying by one. I'm not changing the value. Hours cancel, leaving 90 over 60 shoppers per minute, which is 1.5 shoppers per minute. And R, the rate, is shoppers per minute. R equals 1.5. I'm told here they stay for t, t equals 12 minutes. And Little's Law says N, the number of shoppers in the store, equals RT, 1.5 shoppers per minute, times 12 minutes, equals 18 shoppers. The new store averages 18 shoppers in the store at any one time. Now, 18 over 45 equals 0.4. Or 0 0.40 if we're going to do percents, and we're tempted to say we have 40% of the number of shoppers in the original store, but that's not quite what they ask. College Board likes to put a twist into the wording, and they say the average number of shoppers in the new store at any time is what percent less than the average in the original store. 40% of the original number is 60% less. So, 1 minus 0 0.40 equals 0 0.60 is the amount we're less, 60% less. College Board has said a very large number of times that they do not ask trick questions. Generally, if someone needs to say that so many times, there's something going on with the questions, whether you want to call it trick questions or subtle questions that test how carefully you read the wording, College Board is providing opportunities to give the wrong answer. Make sure you read their questions carefully, find your answer, and then reread the question to make sure that your answer answers their question, keeping in mind that they do like tricks in the wording. So if you found 40% and you come back and say, we're 40% of, and then you say, wait a minute, they're asking for what percent less? At that point, you should say, oh, I see what they're going for, and 40% of the original is 60% less than the original. Remember that College Board asks questions like this, and there are many examples in the old and new College Board study guides for the SAT, and come back soon for my next video with math, there's always more.